Hey guys, what's up? It's Jack, Sir Legend here, and today I'm here with another Minecraft tutorial. And in this week's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install mods onto your Minecraft Java Edition using the Forge Installer slash Launcher. So, let's get right into the tutorial. Now that we've shut down our Minecraft, we want to come down to Google Chrome or your um, chosen web browser and type in Minecraft Forge Download. Or you can go into the description of this video and click the link. Now you want to find this files.minecraftforge.net website. It should be the first website that pops up. You want to click on this. Now on this website, you can select the version that you want to download Forge for. This is your Minecraft version. And then you will, normally you always want to download the recommended version, but if you do want to download the latest one, feel free to, but the latest one can have a few more bugs. So you can go back to 1.8 if you want to use this for PVP, because that's the most popular uh, Minecraft version for PVP or you can stay in 1.16 or if your favorite server is only in 1.15 you can go back to then okay but now that we've got now that we've chosen the version I'm gonna be doing 1.16.4 we want to come over to the recommended one or the latest one and click installer you want to click on this it'll take you to an ad focus website now you do not want to click anything on this website except for the skip button that'll appear in the top of your screen right here once you click skip it will begin downloading like this and then it will say you want to keep this file and, or, and click keep on this instance. It's just because it's a jar file it says this and it's completely safe. And then now that you've done that, you can close down your web browser. Okay, so now we want to go into our downloads file on our computer and you'll find we have the Forge installer file right here. You want to double click on that and it should open up something like this. Now you want to click install client, make sure install client is selected and then you want to click OK. Now it'll download all of these, these things here. I'm actually going to press cancel here just because I already have it installed, but you don't have to do that. It'll just install it and then it'll be finished. Now, once you have installed that, you want to open up your Minecraft launcher, go to installations and you want to create a new installation and search for Forge 1.16.4 or the version that you chose. Now, once you've done this, you want to click on this and click create. Or, and you can give it a name if you want. I'm not going to click create because I've already got one. But now you can go back over to play, select that installation that you just chose, and click play. Now I'll do a bunch of first time setup things, load everything. Um, now once you've done, once it's done all this and you go onto the main menu, you can close down this and we'll go back into the mod file and how to install mods onto Forge. Okay, to install mods onto your Forge now that, now that it is loaded, you want to go onto your Windows search bar or search percent app data percent. Now, once you've found that folder, it should look something like this. You want to go to dot Minecraft, just like that. Then go scroll down and find mods right there. And double click on it. Now, this folder should be empty unless you've already installed mods onto your Forge. But if you haven't, it, it should be empty like this. Now, this is where you drag and drop any mod files that you have. Now, your mod files, say if you want world edit on here, would look something a bit like this. This is a world edit file. It's my world edit Forger MC. Now, there are loads of mods you can choose and loads of different versions. Now, when choosing your mods, you need to make sure that the versions are compatible. So, if you have a version for 1.16.4 Forge loaded or you're loading onto that, you need to make sure all of your 1.16.4 mods are in your folder and not your 1.8. So, if I have something like this, where I've got one 1.16.4 mod like this, loaded on 1.16.3, loaded onto this, but then I go into 1.8 and put, put say, Schematica, from 1.8 and try and load Forge, this will glitch out my Forge and we do not want this. So there is a very easy solution to this. We clear out all of our mods out of all of these folders and we organize our mods folder something a bit like this. Now basically what this is, in each one of these folders, I have separate groups of mods. I have my PVP mods, which I have a load of. I have my 1.15 mods, my 1.16 mods, my 16.4, my 1.14 and so on. So whenever I want to use a certain mod, say I want to use my say I want to use my PVP mods, I go on here, select all of them, control X, go back to mods and control V. Now I can load 1.8 Forge. But if I want to go and load 1.16.4 Forge, I can drag these back into the PVP mod and go and load and get these 1.16.4 mods out and load 1.16.4 Forge. Now remember, when loading your mods for the first time, it'll have to complete a first time setup and things like that. Um, so it might take a little while to launch. 
But one of the first mods I suggest you put onto your forge is the Optifine. If you want to see a tutorial on how to do that, check out the one in the description down below. Now you might be wondering, Jax, where is the best site to get all of these um, mods from? Well, my favorite site is the Curse Forge website where you can see, if I click on Minecraft here, once I'm on the website, I have a load of different mods I can choose from. I have combat, extra large, small slash light, map based, hardcore, you can go and install any of these. So let's find one that we might want. Let's go to maybe combat and PvP. Have a look. There's RL Craft, Rogue, like any of these, and you need to make sure that it has the right versions. So if you're otherwise, it will not work. Okay, so the version is listed right here. As you can see, Minecraft 1.12, the recent file. That's the highest version I can use RL Craft for. But other mods you find, you'll have to slowly look through. You can use them for 1.16. Um, but you can also sort them by um, only having 1.16 mods here. And I tend to find all of these mods are reasonably safe. If you have got an antivirus, always scan them just to be an extra, have an extra level of security. So, now you guys know how to use Forge, install mods onto it, and have loads of fun playing and messing around with different mods. So, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you're new. And if you'd like to support me or Wild, my friend that I do Alphacraft with, make sure to check out the Patreon to get access to our Patreon-only Discord and our Patreon-only server. So, I'll see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated!